Hello, Brip2 students. Let's learn more with our book M High 3 with Unit 4 Body and Mind. Who can tell me what is the important one? A healthy body or a healthy mind? Is it possible to change the way of your mind works how and how? Now, listen to the text and tell me what is the important one. The Memory Man Can you remember people's faces, but not their names? Are you bad at remembering people's birthdays? How many things have you forgotten this week? According to Andy Bell, you needn't be forgetful ever again. Andy Bell, now in his forties, used to be unemployed. Now he is a memory grand master who has won the World Memory Championships three times. He has been training his memory for around 15 years, after being inspired by an article he read about the amazing memory man Dominic O'Brien. In 2002, he beat his hero O'Brien at the World Memory Championships for the first time, an achievement which catapulted him out of his dull existence into the public eye. Andy has broken many memory records and is currently the speed memory champion. He has correctly memorized a pack of cards in just 31.16 seconds. He can also remember the order of over 1,000 cards in one hour. So how does he do it? Andy's method is an unusual but simple one. Journalist Lara Barton met him and wrote an account of his technique. I'm here today so that Andy Bell can teach me how to improve my memory. In less than one hour, I will have a working knowledge of the past 1,000 years in history. Right, says Andy. Think of ten rooms in a building you know very well. I think of the house I grew up in. He tells me we're going to call each room a different century. What is your first room? he asks. It's my living room, Andy. Your living room is in the 11th century, he says. Imagine the Battle of Hastings in the middle of the room. Then, just beside the door, I have to imagine a water clock to remind me of Su Sung's invention in China. I've never seen a water clock, so I imagine something like a sundial in water. By the end of the tour, I've put Marco Polo at the bottom of the stairs, Queen Victoria in the pantry, and the Mona Lisa in the dining room. <laughs> Whatever will my mother say? The basic idea is that you visualize events and assign them to a particular point in the room depending on when they happened during the century. This means that in your mind you will stumble upon events at the start of a century as soon as you open the door to a room. Essentially, the historical events become like furniture. You learn to associate them with a particular room and place. To me, Mozart now sits like a table in the middle of my kitchen. I have to manoeuvre around him to get to Beethoven. Andy says that everybody can benefit from his techniques. All you have to do is think of the things you want to remember and put them in familiar places in your mind. You can apply it to anything. You can apply it to learning, he says. So, have you been paying attention? If you have, you no longer have any excuses for not passing your exams. After listening to the text, Let's learn more about the new vocabulary. Start with knowledge. What is the knowledge? 
an understanding of something through learning. Inspired, made somebody want to do something. Stumble, to hit your foot against something and almost fall over. Maneuver, to move around carefully. Visualize, to have a picture of something in your mind. Essentially, that means something is very important and considering the most important fact. Achievement, when you finish something great and they did it successfully, that is called achievement. Something you have done successfully through working hard. Catapulted through forcefully. Dull. It's not interesting or exciting. As you see in the picture, this boy felt. What about his feeling? He is not interested. He is not excited. So he feel dull. Pantry. That is a large kitchen cupboard. Benefit. To have a good effect. And the last word here. Sandyal. All of us know that ancient Egyptian used the sandal to know the time that is a type of clock that uses the shadow from a piece of metal to tell the time